Good day, Pepper people. This is Rick Griffin. Welcome to Grizzly Heat. How you guys doing? Man, I'm excited about this one. Saw Johnny review this sauce this morning. I got the same package he got from Kajan's Hot Sauce. This is their Kaboom Birdshot Hot Sauce. Now check this out. Big giant shotgun shell. That This came in that, so... That's the coolest thing ever, I think, in my opinion. Um, avid shotgun user um, done a lot of duck hunting and um, these are the coolest thing ever in my opinion really cool marketing idea and this was sent to me uh, from Vic Klinko thank you Vic you're an awesome guy I sure appreciate it um, I watched Johnny's review on this this morning and I'm like I'm gonna or I'm gonna review them the same order that he does because these are uh, you know milder to hotter and if you guys know anything about shotgun shells, birdshot is uh, finer pellets, and number the number of them are more, so uh, it spreads out more, so you can shoot them in the air, um, and then they get uh, bigger pellets as they go uh, up. And I've got two more to try. So this one here is the uh, Kaboom Birdshot Hot Sauce. See if you guys can see that. It's really cool. I'm really digging this. Um, I like the bird in the front of this one. Really cool. Um, the ingredients on this is distilled vinegar, jalapeno, pepper mash, which consists of green jalapeno peppers and salt, water, garlic powder, pure cane sugar, jalapeno powder, one million Scoville pepper extract. Extract. Uh Xanthan gum, lemon extract, which consists of alcohol, water, and oil of lemon. So, this has extract in it. You guys know, if you've had any sauces that have extract, some of them might not taste the best. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be good. Uh, Johnny's review uh, kind of set that in stone for me because they have very similar tastes. And um, there is a fine line. Uh, from adding extract to getting to where it's too much where it actually starts changing the flavor profile and makes it really not desirable and if you get it just right you can add a great amount of heat without changing the flavor so um, let's dive into this and check it out thanks again Vic you're an awesome dude man I sure appreciate you you guys there'll be a link in the description box for uh, Kajan's hot sauce uh, you guys go check them out. They have a lot of different stuff. I was just looking on their website just uh, this morning just to see what other stuff they have. And I actually have some barbecue sauce, some Reaper barbecue sauce from them. I highly recommend it. If you go back, I got a video somewhere where I reviewed it. It's delicious. And I'm just finishing it, so I'm going to have to go and get me some more. But that's not about this. This video is not about that. It's about this. Check this out. So the Kaboom with the exclamation point is a shell. You see that? And look at that duck. I really like that. Really cool label. Uh, great marketing strategy. This says, I'm going to read this really quick. America's finest and most award small, awarded small batch sauce maker. An exquisite balance of flavor and fire. This traditional table sauce is a result of blended, blending carefully selected chilies with the finest ingredients available. This is one of my most awarded recipes. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Manufactured for Kajan's Hot Sauce. So you guys can go to it. Uh, it's uh, kajans.com. C-A-J-O-H-N-S.com. Not Cajun, Kajan's. For you guys to know the difference. Um, I want to show you the richness of this color. It's a greenish yellow. See that? Great consistency before I even dive into it. Man, my mouth is watering. Wow. This smells like some jalapeno salsa. Definitely getting the vinegar. Definitely getting the jalapenos. Um gonna be good I know it is so just dive in I'm not gonna be tainting it this is the perfect size you guys these spoons you can get these at uh, chase the heat johnny scoble.com 
Um, they're the perfect size for tasting, in my opinion. You can get a bigger spoon. My opinion, don't beat me up for that, perfect size to get a good taste uh, for flavor. You know, it's not too much where if you get too much, it's just to me, I mean, yeah, we can all use a bigger spoon, but then it's really just too much to me. This is the perfect amount to get um, analyze the flavor. That's what I'm looking for. This is Kajan's Kaboom Birdshot Hot Sauce. I'm Rick Griffin, Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy. Mm. I'm not really getting the extract in this. Johnny said he could taste it. He's been doing this a lot longer than me. I'm really picking up the jalapenos. I love the flavor in this. Um, it's I'm starting to get some heat from it, and that's from that extract. But I wouldn't say, for me, wow, that's a good sauce. Um, this is exactly what they said it is. This is a great table sauce. If you want the flavor of a jalapeno, but you want more heat, this is for you. It's not a, it's not where, if you add another different kind of pepper to get this ramped up enough that it's going to be the heat that you want if you like hotter stuff, it'll change your flavor profile. With adding the extract, they've increased the heat without messing with the flavor profile of this sauce. And I'm sure that they've uh, done a lot of research to get this just right. In my opinion, you, you guys nailed it on this one. It's a very good all-around uh, tacos, eggs, anything you would like. It's got actually a really good jalapeno flavor, which um, some of the sauces I've tasted doesn't have as much jalapeno flavor as this. This one's really good, and I'm really liking it. Um, as a whole, what could you use this on? You could put it on the table and eat it, eat it on anything you want. Um, it does not say, and let me look, it does not say refrigerate after opening. There is nothing in here, no kind of fruit or nothing. So you could actually do exactly what they say. Put this on the table. I'm definitely getting the citrus out of it. Um, the garlic, getting a little hint of sweetness, but it's definitely, you can definitely tell that distilled vinegar and that jalapeno pepper mash, the way it's mixed together. This is a really good consistency. That there is a good sauce. Um, you guys go to the website, check them out. They have all three of these available. I'm going to try to do these in order. Um, we'll see. Um, I really like these. These are great. Check that out. Really cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hope your weekend's going great. You guys uh, enjoy your time off. Try to spend it with some family. Uh, think about being positive. Hear what I said. Think about being positive. It's all a choice, guys. You have to choose to be positive. You have to choose to be offended. You have to choose to be upset. You have to choose to be joyful. You have to choose to be positive. It's all a choice. Life is all full of choices. If we make the right ones, things go better for us. We make the wrong ones, not so good. Just because bad things happen doesn't mean that we have to choose to have a bad day. We can look. There's always a silver lining. And we always have something, um, something to be thankful for. It's all in perspective, guys. Um, today, I choose joy. I'm going to be happy today. Regardless of what's happening in my life, I choose to be happy today. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for Vic Klinko sending me this sauce. I'm thankful for new sauce. And I'm thankful this is Saturday. Tomorrow we're going to do a, we're going to have our neighbors over. We're going to do a big, uh, we're going to do the wing thing, the wang thing. We'll do some wings and uh, watch Super Bowl and have snacks and there's always a bunch of stuff. I think uh, Lady Grizz is making some like buffalo chicken dip that's really good. 
Um, I'm going to do the wings. I got them brining in some water, a little bit of salt, some garlic powder, um, brining them for like 24 hours. So actually 36 hours. So they'll be nice and flavorful. Um, and then what, what I do, you guys can let me know if this works for you. I put bowls of different sauce outs, uh, out there. So you can take the warm wings, toss them in your sauce with the tongs, put them on your plate. So three or four different kinds of sauce and there you go. So I do got one sauce I should review that I want to use for wings. Um, this one actually would be a good wing sauce um, if you like hot stuff. Um, by the way, for heat wise on this, for me it's probably about a four, three or four, three. Um, it's not super hot, but I feel it. Um, I know that I ate something hot. Um, if you're not into hot stuff, you wouldn't like this. But you guys go check out uh, Kajan's Fiery Foo uh, Foods. Get you some of their Kaboom. Boom. Kaboom Hot Sauce. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, stay spicy, pepper people.